What's up guys? Uh, well, I haven't been posting YouTube videos in the last few months. It's been because I've, uh, I've actually been falling deeply in love with the format of film photography. It's one of the best... <laughs> Every time I make one of these videos, I get in this super formulaic, freaking, I have to say everything perfectly kind of zone, and it frustrates the hell out of me, because when I mess up, after a good take, I cut the whole thing and redo it all. So I'm just gonna flow from the freaking heart and try to walk you through this video. But I'm gonna be focusing on and I did it a Anyway, like I was saying, a couple weeks ago, my girlfriend came up to visit. We shot some film photos in the Portland area. We drove out to the coast for a night. We went out to Hood River for a day, shot a few rolls of film. And uh, this week, I just want to make a little video walking you through some of the photos that we were able to make. So we started the trip out by heading to Cannon Beach, which is a small town out in the Oregon coast. And when we got there, we were hoping to grab sunset, but the sun never really came out. So we were forced to make do with the weather and lighting that we had. And I just loaded some Lamography 800 into my Bronica SQ. And I was able to grab a few pretty cool photographs, actually. All right. All right, so we pretty much lost all our light, but I know one photo that I want to shoot, I'm gonna have Alicia sh sit on that log right there. And there's a nice color patch in the sky. Hopefully with the 800 speed it'll look okay. It's cold. Methodical process, baby. So I like this photo particularly. I actually missed focus on accident, but I think it turned out really cool this way. Her hand is just ever so slightly in focus and it gives a super eerie kind of vibe um, with the desolate beach in the background, the, the moody kind of darker lighting I think really sets the tone. It's perfect for a spooky season actually. So yeah, I was really psyched on this photo and I actually got in uh, my local photo lab. They do a, a customer show every year and it was selected for that show, which I'm pretty excited about. So the next day we were heading back to Portland, but we thought we'd stop in another town on our way out. So we stopped at Seaside. It was much stormier, much windier uh, this next day, but we thought we'd run out to the beach. There was this cool swing set just posted up on the sand out there, which was really cool. So we were able to make a few photos uh, utilizing that swing set with the ocean in the background. After we wrapped up at Seaside, we headed back to Portland where we went to the infamous Powell's Books. Uh, it's a huge bookstore in Portland. We kind of were looking for photo books, but also taking some photos while we were in there. So the next day we headed out to the Hood River area about an hour and 45 minutes east of Portland uh, to a place called Rowena Crest. The drive out here is absolutely stunning, especially in the fall when the trees and grass look amazing. Uh, we stopped at a couple locations along the way to grab some photos and uh, these were some of the, the coolest photos that I think I've taken in a while.
Alicia had a really cool idea for one. Standing in the middle of the road, she's gonna go. That's gonna be, uh, <laughs> just, sick. just like that. All right, let's do it. This particular photo might be in my top three favorite images that I've ever taken. It was Alicia's uh, idea to kind of stand in the middle of the road and bend like that, which I think is super unique and kind of random and abstract, which I'm a big fan of. The way that it frames the road and frames the lines in the road as well. Um, I think it, it, I just never would have pictured it to turn out that way. Uh, we got the timing down perfectly and you know, shooting on film, this is on my medium format camera. Uh, you know, you gotta make every shot count, so I think I was really able to do that with this photo. Later that week, I met up with one of my good friends, John, who has a great podcast called Here's My Thing. I'll link it below. You guys should really check it out. It's absolutely fantastic. But we just linked up for a day and wanted to grab some film photos. Uh, so I brought the Bronica SQ and the Canon AE-1 out and just shot uh, a couple rolls through both those cameras. Cuff the button the cuffs. Two, one, go. Cool. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John is a super fun guy to shoot photos with because pretty much any idea that you have, he'll be down for. Uh, nothing's too strange or weird for him, which is really nice. We love getting these abstract photos that are just super random. This photo in particular, uh, we were driving down the street and we saw a crew of workers kind of doing some landscaping and blowing the leaves off of a sidewalk. So I said, pull over, pull over, let's grab a photo really quick. So I just took this photo and I, I really love it. It didn't come out quite as sharp as I would have liked, but um, I still think the subjects and, and the composition is pretty neat. Uh, we have John on the left side of the frame just kind of standing, still no emotion or anything. And then on the right side of the frame, uh, one of the workers with the leaf blower just blowing leaves all over him, which I thought was a pretty cool concept. And uh, the photo turned out pretty neat. We roamed around Portland for the rest of the day and just shot a few more photos. Honestly, these are some of my favorite portraits that I've ever shot. On 35 millimeter, I was shooting with Portrait 800, which I exposed at 400. And this might be my favorite film to shoot with, especially on a sunny day. The colors turn out absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite photos from the shoot. Um, I was shooting at an underpass and the light was just barely shining through in this one section. Uh, so it was super bright light. The highlights, as you can see, are pretty blown out, but uh, it's really harsh contrast with the background, which is almost completely black. Uh, and then the way the shadow just barely covers his eyes from from this hat is was really cool as well. And then there's this like white kind of matte light that's off to the left side of the frame, which I think adds a really nice nice element to the photo. And on my medium format, I was just shooting with Porsche 400, which I think is always a safe bet. This is another one of my favorite uh, photos from the shoot. I saw this tree and I knew I had to grab a picture with John kind of in the leaves because it was super unique. Um, I like this photo just because I had a, a picture of what I wanted this photo to be in my head before I even shot it. And when I got the scans back, it was pretty much uh, exactly how I had envisioned the photo to be. So to be able to bring that to life was really cool.
This is another really cool photo. Um, I basically, or John just kind of played music on his phone on the on the roof of his building, and um, and he was just kind of dancing on the roof. And there was these birds that were flying in the background. So I just kind of stood up on the railing and waited for the perfect time to shoot this photo. And John just happened to be out with his arms spread, almost like a bird, while this other this real bird flew right above him. And it just turned out really cool. It, it's a uh, great lighting and. Yeah, I really like the way that this uh, photo turned out. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this style of video, kind of a photo vlog uh, type of video. I'm hoping to make more in the future for sure. Uh, but thanks for tuning in to this week's video. I will, of course, catch you guys next week. Peace.